Okay, fellas. Uh, this is another day, another game. And tonight I got something special for you. In fact, I never played this one, but I just I just had this in my like Steam library for like so long. I was like, why the fuck not? Because I feel tired. It's been a rough day, and uh, yeah, let's just play some. Uh, if you have not played a point-and-click adventure game before, then we recommend that you play the short tutorial section. We should like to go to the tutorial now. Uh, what kind of tutorial is it gonna be, boy? Boy, boy, sure. Let's go. Hello and welcome. Firstly, we'd like to show you how to discover and interact with interesting things in the environment. In this case, a humble red arrow. Hello, there you go. Move the mouse pointer to the red arrow tip and an animating magnifying glass will uh, appear. Uh-huh, click the left button to interact with it, sure. Well done, that's how you discover and interact- Hello, there. Uh, that's how you discover and interact with hotspots. Hotspots mark interesting things in the environment with which you can interact. To get George, look this hot gentleman over here, uh, to walk to the arrow, left click on the floor at that point. Uh, sure, bruh. Oh man, look at that walking animation. Excellent, that's how you get a character to... Mm, okay, well, I suppose maybe we shouldn't have tried this tutorial, but anyway. See the torch that had magically appeared? <laughs> magically! Jo now get George to pick it up by moving the mouse pointer over the torch hotspot in left... You call that a torch? Okay, well done, you just picked uh, up the torch. Things that you pick up get stored in your inventory. Click the bag icon at the bottom left of the screen to see all the objects in your inventory. Uh, sure. This is your inventory. The only thing that George is carrying is a torch. Now examine the torch by moving your mouse pointer over it and clicking the right mouse button. Clicking the fucking... Uh, yeah, it, it's, uh, the fine-looking, uh, flashlight that you just picked up. Right, now look for a battery. Ah, they're gonna teach me how to combine things, right? Which is totally fine. Uh, left click. Yeah, but, like, I'm... That's odd. Ah. Well done, you've successfully used the batteries on the torch to power it up. And finally, you can use the inventory items on hotspots in the environment. Open your inventory again, uh, and there you go. Uh, well done, yay, you have now learned. Oh man, now I feel like a true professional. Uh, what do you mean started episode two? Huh? What the hell is... Huh? Uh, let's start a new game? But the serpent was wiser than all the animals that were in paradise, and God cursed the serpent and called him devil. And he said, Behold, Adam has become like one of us, knowing evil from good. Battle not with monsters, lest ye become a monster. And if you gaze into the abyss, the abyss gazes also into you. Revolution in gaming. Carl Cecil Eagle Flies away Dies down And then up to reveal the fields of Catalonia, Spain, 1937. Man, look at that production value, eh? Wait, I actually don't remember what happened previously. Like, we had, like, uh, like a secret order, and then we... Oh. Viva la revolución, huh? We must go now. 
Papa! Tiago, go with your mother to the trap. Take this. It will always be your guide. Yes, Papa. We will join you shortly. Sabi, the painting. Wait, what? what? It's like carved in advance or what? Ooh, ooh. This way. Man, this guy like single handedly holds. Oh no. Senora, it is too late. Go. Senor, in here. Ah, the Americans. Got him. Of course. Uh, maybe not an American, huh? You're an American? Bali, present day. Sure. Paris in the spring. Passion, romance. L'amour. I was working in art insurance. It paid the rent. Just about. And then, by chance, I met Nico at a private view. You didn't tell me that you were back in Paris, George. We should catch up. Let's have... Lunch? Nobody move! No, monsieur! Not la malediction. Oh. oh God. Stay back. Once again, Paris had shown me her dark side. A brutal robbery, a senseless murder. Nico and I were about to be drawn into a new and terrifying adventure together. Yeah, mate, France is fucked these the days. The was dead. I guess sometimes playing the hero doesn't pay. My company had insured the exhibition, so I had a crime to solve. The cops would be here soon. I didn't have much time. Sure. Shouldn't we have like Luck, a... The security camera had captured the robbery. The cable for the camera ran into the room marked private. All right. And uh, we have a bust. The bust was balanced precariously on the pedestal. I didn't want to knock it off. Why would this be a thing? And Hmm. Just 90000 for this one. The label said it was painted in 1932. The gallery wanted 80 grand for it. Okay, is it just me or this is kind of super quiet? Like, you know what? I think for this game, I'm gonna do something different. Um. Uh, wait, didn't I have like... Filters. I think we're gonna pop the compressor for this one. Um, because it's just that quiet. Uh, hopefully it's gonna sound better now. Or maybe we can just drop some gain. But I think compressor should, but then again, gain might be better. Just simple freaking gain. All right, uh, this should improve the sound quality, but I can't check it right away, though. The alarm still worked on that painting. I wondered why the stolen painting's alarm hadn't sounded. That's a good question. Another alarm working as it should. All right. This was where the stolen painting had hung. Why that painting? And why kill for it? The stolen painting had an alarm, which should have sounded when the painting was removed. I needed to find out why it hadn't. Well, uh, we've got some pressure pads. I pressed the vibration detector pad. Nothing happened. All right. So. The alarm wasn't broken. I suspected foul play. Or one of these is broken, no? 
like all of these are broken. Oh. So that was why the alarm hadn't sounded. A wire had been cut by someone who knew exactly what they were doing. This was an inside job. Wait, I still don't get it though. If you have the access uh, to this thing, to the point where you can remove the painting and then cut the wire and then put it back, why can't you just steal it not openly? Like, what's the point? Uh, anyway. It was the speaker cone for the alarm. Someone had cut a wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How do I go back? Do I need to do something else? The butt Nope, I don't. So, can I go back? Ah. No, that's not it. Return to game. Uh... Save menu, restore menu... Character gallery? Oh, wow. Uh... Right, let's go back. Oh, fuck. Wait. Come on, I just wanna... How do you... Ah. All right, uh, label. The stolen painting was called La Maladexil, painted by someone called El Serp in 1937, and worth just 40 grand. The st oh, fuck. Uh, the stolen... The stolen painting was... Ah, oh, that's it? All right. Um, then we have some plugs, some other shit, and there's a door. The door was locked with a keypad. If I wanted to get in there and look at the CCTV footage, then I'd need to find the number. I have an idea. What I if still it's still needed to figure What if it's 1212 12 now? Hmm. I still needed to All right, all right. The if priest you say was giving so. last rites to the gallery. The priest was giving last rites. Can you see the items that you can interact with, or... Lane, pizza box... Another... But yeah, why yeah, yeah. that... Why that... The thief left the pizza box behind. I wondered what was in it. Well, no surprise there. Pizza. The guy must have been hungry. There was only one slice left. Mmm, that's a little odd. I'd eat all of it. I mean, it's... It was Hector Lane, France's greatest art critic. <clears throat> We'd met before. It hadn't ended well. For a moment, I thought he was dead. But from the snoring, I guessed he'd only fainted. Yay, we unlocked a new guy. Lane was out... All right. Fair lane. The poster looked old. I didn't want to touch it. The priest was giving la- Excuse me, father. Yes, my son. I'm George Stobart. My company insured the exhibition. My name is Simeon. Is there anything I can do? You can pray for his soul. A senseless murder. On the contrary, this killing makes plenty of sense. What do you mean? A great evil has taken place. This is the work of the devil. What? I am a Dominican priest. I know these things. And now, excuse me. I must pray. One minute, I'd been planning dinner with Nico. The next, I was talking art theft, murder, and the devil with a priest. Chewing gum? What? It was a blob of chewed gum. Where? That's it. A... Was a blob of it was a blob of... Uh... Oh, I can call people. Rickenbacker? Who the hell is Rickenbacker? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. Rickenbacker? Stobart, what do you want? Mr. Rickenbacker, there's been a problem. Oh, why does that surprise me? This better not involve the blue lizard. 
Ah, the freeze it down, sir. Bleu. There's been a robbery. Now, oh, terrific. Only one painting was stolen, though. Well, what are you wasting time talking to me for? Find that painting, or find a way to avoid paying out. Two ways to keep your job, Stobart. I see. Uh, thank you, sir. You're welcome. Anything else you gotta tell me? The thief had a gun. Uh, he shot the gallery owner dead. We insured him, too? No, sir. Well, that's one piece of good news. <laughs> At least tell me you got some leads. Oh, man. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure the security was sabotaged. The alarm was disabled for that one painting. So, it was an inside job. Who else is at the gallery? There's a priest. Uh-huh. As my mother used to say, never trust a man at a cross. And she should know she married one. There's a guy called Hector Lane. Lane? Why does that name sound familiar? He's an art critic. I think he's connected to the exhibition. Now, could it be him? No. It couldn't possibly be Lane. Squeeze him anyway, and bring me the pips. If I was going to squeeze Lane, I needed longer arms than these. Find out who disabled the security system, then find that painting. And don't call back until you have. Well, that's my boss. Right. Wait, what? He definitely looked better. How? What the fuck? This guy is tempering with evidence? A fucking civilian? Bruh. Don't do that, bruh. I didn't want Henri's blood on my hand. In Henri's pocket was a tiny bottle. It was a bottle of Brett. The label claimed it would wake the beast within. Well, looks like it was waiting for someone, right? You don't... But then again, why keep it like that? You... 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 <laughs> sure, bro. There was a small piece of paper in the dead man's hand. It was too intriguing not to take a look. It read, 2.30 p.m. Be ready. Innocent enough, until I realized that the robbery took place at 2.30 p.m. There was something fishy going on around here, and it wasn't just the canapes. I, I quickly replaced the note. I think, you know what? A cryptic He's note our guy. a bottle of overpowering cologne. But... No personal effects or anything else of substance. I definitely needed to check out that office. Yeah, but the thing though is... Maybe they told him they were gonna steal a different painting. But once he realized they were gonna take this one, they just fucking shot him dead. Which is crazy. I still needed to feel I think it's 12-12, no? Let's just... I mean, that would be out a little, though, but... This one, no? Alright, not, not that one. Uh, we did take a look at most of these paintings, right? Or more like at all of these. Hmm... The bust was balanced for... For the discerning connoisseur, a soupçon at 80,000. Sure. Just 90,000. I didn't think there was any need to test another. It was clear that only La Mal Yeah, but like, what if one, what if some of these paintings have a clue? Something this guy, uh, associated himself with. And that's the key to the thing, no? Ah. Brett, the fragrance that dare not speak its name. Um, sure, bruh. Nico wasn't answering her phone. Um, I still need. But we did interact with most things, right? 
Ah, uh, okay. Let's try some of these, maybe? Spanish modernists certainly didn't come cheap. I could have bought a nice car for the price of that. I wondered how many paintings they'd sold at these prices. Huh? What, what? What is this? As they say, every artist was first an amateur. But, like, it looks like the game allows me to go somewhere, no? Or not, I don't know. Anyway, this should be like a tutorial difficulty, no? Like, why am I struggling? What are we missing? It was a blob of chew- Wait, so, wait, are you gonna actually fucking take that, bruh? What the... What the fuck? Huh? I picked up a piece of pizza from the gallery floor. It could be useful. No one had noticed that. I decided to leave it alone. But... But why? Oh man. Door. Wait, we can go outside? The street was quiet and upmarket. Not the kind of place for an opportunist thief. Gallery window. From out here, you couldn't see the stolen painting. This robbery was definitely planned. The room looked like some sort of office for the gallery. I could just see the glow of the CCTV monitor in the corner. It looked like the office for the gallery. Right. But don't you see anything else? It looked... Hmm... You gotta hand it to the French. They know how to take a leak in style. Wait, what? For real? That's wasteful, but I get it. I've always been a sucker for Parisian stained glass. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Also, this looks like a robot or some shit. Uh... Oh, hello there. Excuse me. Monsieur. There's just been a robbery at the gallery. Oh, really? You don't sound surprised. All property is theft, monsieur. And all art is property. Therefore, all art is theft. Do you not agree? Uh, well, uh, when you put it like that, it's <clears throat> hard not to. Wait, what? We can discuss things with them? What do you know about Le Lizard Bleu? It's bourgeois, vacuous, and overpriced. Just like its curator Lane. He's always in here, you know, talking art to his latest flusier. Mm. The gallery owner, Henri, was shot dead trying to stop the robbery. Life has no meaning the moment you lose the illusion of being eternal. Right. Did you wow, know Wow, we got a philosopher well? here, huh? Can we ever truly know another human being, monsieur? He spends little time at the cafe, unlike his friend, monsieur Lane. So oh, you're telling me that that's how it is. That's where most PhDs end up, right? Would you like a slice of pizza? I think not, monsieur. You must remember we are in Paris, the culinary capital of the world. If you say so. What do you know about Hector Lane? Lane? Oh, yes. He drinks here sometimes. He slid away last night without paying. Last night? What sort of time? After midnight, for sure. If you see him, give him this bill. And tell him to pay up next time. Huh. I really? wondered whether Lane was in a hurry to get somewhere, or just trying to skip paying his bill. I think... I think this guy is not connected to the robbery, but sure. Would you like a squirt of this? The f are you suggesting Fuck. a smell, monsieur? No, sorry. Did you see anybody run out of the gallery earlier? There was a beautiful woman. With a camera. She was chasing somebody. Oh, that must have been Nico. You know her? You surprised me. Can you tell me anything about the man she was chasing? I assume, monsieur... 
that like all of us, he is inherently unknowable. No wonder this guy's cafe was empty. Thank you for your consistent indifference, monsieur. Perhaps next time you come, I will give you a coffee. Perhaps not. Oh, that's lovely. Lane had run up quite a bill at the cafe. Well, I don't think I'm going to be combining these two. Um... The Sacre Coeur Basilica. The highest point in Paris. Impressive. Mm, looks like we're not meant to go that way right now. That's fine, though. I've always been. All right, let's keep thinking. Hmm. Wait. That wasn't going to help. Really? Okay. What, even that isn't going to work? The label read, Awaken the Beast Within. Well, no harm in trying. There he goes. And he dropped something for us. Uh, uh, what was that? It smells like... like the 70s. 70s? Where am I? You fainted. Uh, hello? Welcome back to the land of the living. I wouldn't exactly call this living. Don't just stand there. Get me something to eat. I've had a terrible shock, you know. Huh? Do it yourself, bruh. Here's a fucking pizza slice. I found a slice of pizza. I asked for food, boy, not a cardboard simulacrum. Oh, okay, if you don't want it. I didn't say that. Now give it here. Huh. That's a weird dude. Given the circumstances, that was surprisingly acceptable. Uh, now what's been going on? I... Oh, Henri, is he dead? Afraid so. Poor chap. Just like him to steal the limelight, though. Hmm. Wait, 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 before we trigger him. Excuse me. Do I know you? Yes, our paths have crossed in the Glees Gallery. Of course, the man with the absinthe. I don't suppose you... Uh, afraid not. Pity. I'm sorry, but I'm having trouble remembering your name. I'm George Stobart. I insured the exhibition. <laughs> I hope you have deep pockets then, my boy. Could I ask you a few questions, Mr. Lane? Fire away. Whoa, that's a lot. Uh, let's... <laughs> we can even ask him about the bill. But let's start with the, with the guy. So, what brings you to Le Lizard Bleu, Mr. Lane? Dear boy, without me, this show would not exist. Henri, rest his soul, may have run this gallery, but I am its creative powerhouse. If Lane was involved with the gallery, then he had to know the code to that door. Okay. Do you know anything about the stolen painting? Of course, dear boy. La Maledicio, a little-known work, turned up at the last minute. What about the killer? Were you able to get a look at him? A delinquent in a tin hat. Beyond that, I don't really recall. Oh, yeah, you fainted. Those of us with a higher aesthetic are more sensitive to violence. Hmm... The artist. How long had you known Henri? As a friend, many years. Our professional relationship had only recently blossomed into this exhibition under my curatorial wing. And now the poor fellow has gone and got himself killed. All right. Who painted the stolen painting? Therein lies a mystery. We only know his pseudonym, El Serp. He was a Catalan, a modernist. His works are symbolic, religious. 
Sure. What can you tell me about the stolen painting? La Maledicio? A challenging piece. If you like a wide cast of obscure saints and fringe Christian symbolism, of course. Not especially valuable, though. The thief won't get much for it on the black market. Okay, shall we just hit him? So, you help run this place? Maybe you can give me the code to that door. The code to the office? I just thought you might have the number. I do, but I couldn't possibly give you access before the police arrive. I figured I wasn't going to get the door code from Lane by playing nice. I needed to turn the heat up. Seriously, we're gonna... We're gonna pressure him by fucking using the... nail the clippers were monogrammed with the letters HL. Hector Lane. Monogram nail clippers? What the fuck would you need that? Take a look at this. What of it? It's your bill from the cafe next door. So, you sure drank a lot of champagne last night without paying the bill. But you told me that you were away from Paris last night. I hate to say it, but that sounds like a lie to me. Tell you what. You give me the code to the door, and the police need never know. This is ridiculous. You have no motive and nothing that connects me to the crime. Have it your way. I will get that code. God, I am intrusive, aren't I? Like... Bruh. It's a little bit too intrusive, don't you think? You've already told me one lie, Mr. Lane. You give me the code, and I... No, I refuse. You have nothing substantive to connect me to this crime. Um... How about some more of this? I don't think so. As a cell volatile, it was acceptable. As a cologne, it would be barbaric. Are these your nail clippers, Mr. Lane? Yes, they have my initials monogrammed on them. Huh. The perfect implement for cutting the alarm on the stone painting. What are you saying? Well, the alarm was sabotaged, Mr. Lane. It was an inside job. Are you accusing me? How dare you? Now, I believe you. I absolutely do. But will the police? You have the motive. There's the evidence evidence of sabotage along with the gaping hole in your alibi look give me the code for the office and i can make your problems disappear you sir are a blackmailer yep got it in one the number is six three nine seven but your accusations have absolutely no substance i had the code the police would be here any moment so i had to work fast Wait, no, I... Oh, fuck me. I thought I was gonna have How to... What was that number no. again? Six, four, two... No. Everyone, hold it right there. Damn it. I am Inspector Navet of the Paris Serious Crime Squad, and I hereby declare this crime scene open. I mean, closed. Now, nobody move. Especially you on the floor. Mo, I want a total lockdown. Nobody in or out. Apart from me, of course. I recognize this guy, by the way. I remember him. Not sure which chapter it was. I needed to get back into the gallery, but a familiar figure was guarding the door. It was Sergeant Mu. Our paths had crossed before. Hello there, Moo. My press card. It opened some doors, but not as many as I'd have liked. Who the hell is that guy? 
Hi, George. I'm outside the gallery. Thank God you're safe, Nico. I tried the phone, but I couldn't get an answer. Inspector Mu is out here, and he's not letting me in. I managed to grab a couple of photos, but the guy got away. Poor Ori is dead. I know. Why kill him? I've been trying to find out. Turns out the alarm was tampered Looks to me like an inside job. So, no ordinary robbery? And no ordinary painting. The priest claims that La Maledizio is evil. I need to get into the office and see what the CCTV has to offer. Maybe you can help me out when you get back in here. All right, um, moving on. Wait, 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 no, no, no. What, what is, why is she? Madame. Bonjour, Monsieur. Whatever it is you want, we are closed. Then why are you standing here? You would not understand, Madame. Try me. Because I look at you, and I know you are like all the others. The others? The pretty women who shop, who gossip, who have their spa days, their almond croissant. <laughs> that bad, huh? <laughs> and the men with their grooming products, and their shiny shoes, and their skinny suits who come to my cafe and ask me for... lattes, macchiatos, frappe. I see your point. Is this what we fought on the barricades for, madame? Ripped up the paving slabs, bled on the streets. Isn't it? No, madame, it is not. We fought for ideas, for philosophy, for freedom, equality, fraternity. Vive la revolution. And do you know what drove us on as we fought? What fueled the streets of Paris in that glorious spring? What made our hearts soar? Uh, cheap wine and free sex? No, madame, no! It was French Café Noir that inspired us. The simple demitas, The black, sweet taste of freedom. So that's why you closed? Yes, madame. I serve only thinkers, philosophers, revolutionaries. And you, madame, with your polite top and your pointy ears, and none of those things. This is a cafe. Yes. To the right people. On any other day, I would have given this guy a straight one to the chin. But there was a chance he could help me get into the gallery. Okay. Um... Monsieur. Life is fleeting, madame. The sands of time are running through your fingers. Well, that may be, but... We know not what we want, and yet we are responsible for what we are. There's been a crime. That is terrible, madame. But you know what they say. No, but I think you're going to tell me. Life begins on the other side of despair. C'est vrai, no? Well, I guess so. He was pushing me to the point of despair. During the riots, we battled the forces of oppression. Oh, really? That must have been terrifying. It was. Except that they made me stay behind the barricades with the other baristas. We made coffee by the litre to fuel the resistance. I've never brewed so much coffee. <laughs> of course, our brave heroes spent half their time going for a pee. But with our coffee inside them, they fought the running dogs all night long. None of this was helping me get past Sajan Mu. Au revoir. Hmm. My press card. Here's my press card. La liberté. Madame, you are not the person that I took you to be. You must accept my deepest, my most profound apologies. Well, of course I accept. But why? La Liberté. The great journal of freedom. At the height of the battle, as the tear gas blew and the blood flowed, it was La Liberté which carried the voice of our revolution to the world. 
I know now that you are not the kind of woman who would ask me for almond croissant. Oh God, you no! You are a true daughter of France, and I am your humble servant. Yes. Monsieur. The road to enlightenment is a long one, Madame. Perhaps you will walk that road with me. Could we have a little chat? Any time, madame. Okay. Did you see anything happen at the gallery earlier? I saw you running after a pizza delivery guy. Somebody said he killed someone. That's true. He stole a painting and shot the gallery owner. Uh, how close we are to death. And yet how far mm. from ever comprehending it. Mm, well, right now I need to get back inside and figure out what happened. I applaud you, madame. To seek the truth is a worthy ambition. As a journalist, that is my duty. How about some coffee? For you, madame, of course. There is only one coffee that I can serve you. Black, strong, and in a tiny cup. One moment. Why do we get the jingle? Is this like a big thing? Is this... Does Moo want some coffee or what? Here is your coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. We have not yet talked to him, even. Uh. The coffee was hot and strong. Oh, wonderful, I guess. The waiter didn't need to... Speak. Okay, let's, uh, let's... We probably don't have the option to trigger here, so let's talk to Moo. Sergeant Moo, we meet again. Aha, Madame Cola! An unexpected pleasure! I was in the gallery at the time of the theft. Can I get back in? I am sorry, but I am under strict orders from Inspector Nave. Uh, nobody in, uh, nobody out. And I must correct you, madame. It is no longer just a theft. It is a murder. Mon dieu, that poor man. I witnessed the crime. I've got to get back in there. I'm sure you can make an official statement in good time. I saw the thief. I think I can help the investigation. I am implacable, Madame Collard. Hmm. Who is Inspector Nave? Ah, the most promising young investigator on the force. A genius. A man blessed with almost superhuman insight. He sounds highly perspicacious. Madame, it is not for us to talk about the Inspector's sweaty proclivities. He is about <laughs> to solve his third case in as many days. So, what's he got that the other investigators don't have? Blood spatter. He is the world expert. He reads the entrails of the crime scene like a book. Uh, sure. I really need to get into the gallery and speak to Inspector Nave. Tut tut. He is not to be disturbed. He is applying his famous scientific methods. Any moment now, the case will be cracked. I certainly hope so. I am dog-tired and want to go home. Huh. Ah, uh, that's why... Coffee, right. Why are you so tired, Sergeant Mu? I have been working for three days with no rest. Oh, God. At that Mother age? He's a genius in his field, and he assumes that we all have his energy and vigor. Oh, you poor man. If you'd like to go and get some sleep, I will watch the door for you. That's very thoughtful of you. Ha! A cunning attempt to make me a deserter, madame. A gendarme never leaves his post. Well, how about a hot drink? Ah, that would do the trick for sure. Unfortunately, I mustn't drink on duty. My doctor specifically warned me against it after the last... Uh, oh god, incident. are we gonna knock him out? Oh, no. I chased after the shooter and got a photo of him. Inspector Nave will be delighted. You've got to let me into the gallery to show him. Absolutely not. 
So, I cannot go in without Inspector Nave's permission? No. And to get Inspector Nave's permission, I need to go in. Exactly. Have you ever heard of Kafka, Sergeant Mu? <laughs> Madame Gola, I do not see what soccer players have to do with this. No, he's a... There's a Never soccer mind. player like that? This I haven't heard madness. that. Sergeant Mu wasn't going to let me in. That incident you mentioned, what happened exactly? I don't want to talk about it. All I can say is it was very unfortunate. I am on duty and I need to focus. Okay, uh, well, uh... Sergeant Mu could do with one of those famous coffees. Yes. But, like, what if it's, like, what's, what if it's a health hazard and is, is gonna collapse or some shit? <laughs> that is not good. Monsieur. Madame. Could we have a little chat? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's skip this. Uh, take away. Could you make me a coffee to go? For a fellow revolutionary? Of course, madame. One moment. Alright. So far, so good, I guess. Here's your takeaway coffee, madame. Thank you, monsieur. We're not gonna mix anything in, right? It's just a coffee that we... Give to this guy. All right. Sergeant Mu, I brought you a coffee. Coffee? Fantastic. Just what I need. But wait. I must not. My little p p p problem. I'm sure one little cup of coffee won't hurt. I'm tempted, madame, but I cannot risk it. I am sorry. So, this incident, it involved you, some coffee, and your... little problem? It is a tale of woe, madame. I'm all ears, sergeant. Well, since you seem quite understanding, I shall elaborate. Please do. I was in charge of canine security for the president himself. Huh? Uh, one day, on vacances, he went for a private discussion with a lady minister. I stayed alone with his dog, but I had drunk a coffee to stay awake, and nature came to call. So I tied the dog to a tree and went for a secret pee-pee. When I came back, the dog was having a liaison dangereux with the lady minister's terrier. <gasps> But how did they find out? Talking. Well, two months later, the president's Labrador gave birth to six beautiful mongrels. And I was busted to sergeant just after the president's divorce came through. You are a victim of a great injustice, sergeant. You think so? But of course. You knew you must not fall asleep at your post. You were guarding the president himself. Well, the president's dog. Ah, it was the same thing. Yes, I suppose. And by drinking that coffee, you made the ultimate sacrifice for our glorious republic. Your career. Hmm. Now you put it like that? And now France is calling you again. She is saying, drink, Sergeant Mu, drink! She is? She is. Drink or fall asleep at your post. Which is it to be? I suppose it is drink? Bravo, Sergeant! All right, and then he goes for a pee pee over there, and while he's away, we're gonna enter. But, hmm. Oh dear. Oh dear. Excuse me, madame. I must use the petit gendarme's room. It has gone straight through me. Could you watch the gallery door for me? Oh, you can count on me, sergeant. 
I distracted Mu. It was now or never. Well, let's go. How did you get past Sergeant Mu? Huh. Well, you won't fool me so easily, madame. I shall question you later. Nico, am I glad to see you. So, what's the problem? The inspector's watching me like a hawk. I'll never get in without some sort of distraction. I'll see what I can do. Ah, right. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's try this approach. Inspector Nave, do you have a moment? My time is of the essence. Be quick now. Could you give me a statement, Inspector? Now is not the time, madame. Uh, all right. Are you Hector Lane, the art critic? Enchanté, madame. And which of the angels are you? I'm Nico Kala, a reporter. Ah, a fallen angel then, my favorite sort. Mm. What can you tell me about the painting that was taken? It was called La Maledicio, an unknown work that only recently surfaced. Who was the artist? A mysterious figure known only as El Serp. Some say he was a student of Picasso. He was good, but not great. And his true identity remains unknown. What can you tell me about the theft? Oh, it was truly awful. What he want to know? Well, everything. Tell me about the shooting, monsieur. Oh, it all happened so fast. Take your time. What did you see? I can't be sure. Perhaps I could answer your questions <laughs> over dinner. I'm sorry, monsieur. I'm on a tight deadline. Did you see the thief? No, I would have tackled him, but he was too quick for me. Here, bruh. Have you spoken to Georges? The American? Yes. He promised to clear up any misunderstandings the police might have about my presence here. What can you tell me about Henri's involvement with the gallery? Dear Henri, a shining diamond in the ordure that is the modern art business. He owned the gallery. What will we do without him? And... wait. Ah, right, we... she heard about it. Uh, right. Because we had a, f a phone. Did you know that the alarm had been sabotaged? No. How dreadful. I suppose that's why the alarm isn't ringing. Well, that's great. Thanks for your help, Monsieur Lane. I wasn't going to get anything useful from Lane. Yeah, that's why I do not rate zero experiments Lane that high. Excuse me, Father. Father Simeon, my child. Are you okay, Father? It's a terrible shock, but yes, I'm fine, thank you. This Could voice is so familiar. About the crime? What kind of questions? I'm a reporter for La Liberté. I suppose it cannot hurt. Please ask away. Wait, this guy! He is the voice, the the narrator from the fucking the Trine series. Oh my god, this is an honor, sir. Why did you come to the gallery today, father? God brought me here. I saw the poster for the exhibition. I had to come. That is absolutely him. What do you mean? I knew there was great evil in La Maledictio. It was my duty to confront it. The painter was El Serp, the serpent, don't you see? Evil? So what were you planning on doing here today? I wanted to bear witness to anything that the devil would conjure. Well, I think it was a no-show, Father. Really? A man is dead, Miss Collard. I'd say his work here today is done. 
That wasn't going to help my story. Did you see anything that might help identify the killer? No. The devil takes many forms, child. I didn't get a good enough look, I'm afraid. Anything would help. I am sorry, my dear. My mind was elsewhere. What do you know about Henri? An innocent victim, in so far as any of us are innocent. If he was peddling such blasphemous works as the Elsa painting, then who knows what other sins he was hiding. Father Simeon was making me feel guilty. Priests always did that to me. <laughs> sure. What can you tell me about the painting? Grotesque and evil. How can a painting be evil? By killing all who come into contact with it. Ah, oh, come on, mate. Does that mean we're next? Laugh not at the devil's play, Miss Collard. Do you know anything about the painter, El Serp? He was a purveyor of blasphemy, a servant of the Antichrist. How can you know that? It is clear from his work. Father Simeon was making a lot of assumptions. That's true. Thank you for your time, Father. I would say one too many assumptions. The priest had nothing. Yeah, yeah, I know, which is why we're going that way. Josh. Yeah, Nico. So why do you need to get into the office? I'm pretty sure the robbery. So what? Soup. What? You do that and. That's uh, the deal, Jean. Okay, so what? somehow I had to get the insp. Well, I guess this is our key there, right? The bust. But before that, I wonder if he's gonna talk to us. Probably no. Inspector. Yes. Oh, we can exhaust. Interesting. I suppose this is quite a complex case, Inspector. It is a robbery gone bad. Nothing more, nothing less. Surely there's a bit more to it than that. Please abstain from baseless conjecture, madame. The victim's body paints a simple picture, more reliable than any witness statement. Consider the impact of the bullet and note the concomitant lack of blood. A casual homicide. Nothing more. Don't you find it odd that the thief chose that one particular painting? That is odd. Life is full of odd things, madame. Fingerless gloves, white dog poo poo, nasal hair. I How prefer poetic. to concern myself with murder. Did you see the alarm was sabotaged? I have interrogated the crime scene, madame. I am fully aware of the disabled security. I prefer biological evidence to the merely circumstantial. Body parts, blood, important things. Don't right. you think the disabled alarm is highly suspicious, though? The forensic team will be along shortly. Voice your concerns to them. Do not bother me with this circumstantial flifflaff. All right, all right, mate. Why don't you check out the security camera footage? Madame, that is not my area of expertise. It is the body which concerns me. But the CCTV footage is evidence. It could help identify the killer. Correction, Madame. It is but an indicator. The only true evidence is bodily fluid. Man, Unless this guy you know is obsessed. I don't, then please leave me be. The only evidence Inspector Nave seemed to appreciate involved gore. Yeah. What do you think about the American, <laughs> George? That's a not he question. Is deeply suspicious. All right, uh, I'm out of here. Are you sure you don't want to say anything? Please keep your little card away from me. Thanks, Inspector. Well, I if guess... If I was going to distract Nave, I needed to unearth new evidence, and the bloodier, the better. Uh, 
The bloody, uh... The bust was striking. And that's it, right? Wait, what if I call my boss, probably? My dad? I don't know. Ronnie, I'm at the exhibition over in Montmartre. You won't believe the scoop I've got. You're kidding me. That place is a dump. What could possibly have happened to make it exciting? A painting's been stolen, and the gallery owner's been shot. What? Okay, speak to anybody who saw what happened. Scope out the place. And call me as soon as you get a story. If you're quick, we can make the evening edition. Bye, Nicole. Hmm. This could be the scoop I've been waiting years for. Yay, we unlocked Ronnie. But, like, a bloody evidence, you say. What the hell can I do about that? The gallery was already a mess. I didn't feel like tearing the poster down. Father... Yes. Uh... Wait, we've been through these options already. How the, the hell do we get him? To know anything. Yeah, but how do we get the bloody evidence? Monsieur Le... Ma Thanks for your... Lane had nothing nah, to offer. Nah, that's not gonna help. Uh... All right, George. Any ideas? Hello? Shush. Oh my god, these transitions take a while. You and uh and, and that's it. You're not okay. No I've way he's gonna the gallery on a before. But he sure didn't deserve this. Hmm. Pizza box. Ah. Oh. Right. The tomato sauce had splattered on the floor. No way a freaking uh, blood otaku isn't going to be able to differentiate fucking tomato from a blood. No way was I going to clean that up. Well, you have your card. I scraped up the chewing gum with my press card, hoping the inspector wouldn't notice. Beautiful. How about that for a distraction? I wondered whether it would be enough. Uh... Inspector! Yes? Have you seen the stain on the floor over there? It looks like blood. Indeed. How very curious. I must investigate immediately, before one of these idiots steps in it. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe it is time to employ... The machine. A what? Okay, Charles. That should distract him for a while. Nice work, Nico. I'll let you know what I find in the office. That's weird. But anyway. I was sure the inspector hadn't seen me slip away, but I needed to be quick. Because uh, it wouldn't take him long. What the fuck? The fuck is this? <laughs> right, so... Sure, let's just... Let's just slowly enjoy ourselves here, right? It was a hookah pipe. Those things gave me a headache. It was a pretty flamboyant looking clock. The poster advertised a 1975 Stockholm Music Festival, headlined by a group called the Hairy Lobsters. The telephone was an antique rotary model. The handset looked greasy. The calendar looked like a child's school project. Omri had ringed 27th May and scrawled birthday. Poor guy hadn't quite made it to his big day. 
Or maybe his daughter's birthday. It was hard to tell if the lava lamp was retro or just plain old. Henri sure liked his clutter. I actually also like my clutter. Henri had a model of a VW camper van painted in hippie colors. The engine capacity was displayed on the back, 1600 cc. Henri sure had his quirks. Henri's notice board was covered with all kinds of junk. The statue was jaunty. Up close and personal, I could see that the fig leaf was hinged. You gotta be kidding me. It didn't look like there was anything important on the... But, but sure, let's interact with Thankfully, it. Thankfully, there was no one around to see me do this. Very interesting. A naked lady stared at me seductively. The trinkets, the junk, the instruments. Henri was kind of a hippie at heart. Mm. I wasn't going to open the safe without the... I was fairly sure that even Henri wouldn't be silly enough to keep it hidden in the office. You mean the key? So it has to be behind one of the paintings, or somewhere else, entirely. Uh, not sure where to start with this, but let's start with the footage, maybe? The CCTV system was ancient. It took individual shots and recorded them to tape. It looked like I needed to enter a passcode to view the recording. Let me guess, 1600. No. Henri hadn't set the model van's engine size as the passcode. Alright, smart of him. Hmm. I needed to find a four-digit number. Four-digit number. May 27th, right? Henri had ringed. Alright, let's try 0527 then. I that was easy. The tape to before the robbery. This was the first interesting frame. It was Henri studying La Maledixia. He couldn't have had any idea what was about to happen. Hmm? Can I rewind? That was the earliest... Nico and I were taking a look at La Maledixia just before the robbery. Funny? Painting didn't strike me as remarkable at the time. Just odd. The image was a little fuzzy, but in the center of the painting was what looked like a snake eating its own tail. I thought about what the priest said. There was definitely something unsettling about the picture. Oh, come on, it's just a depiction of Jormungand or some shit. Or what's his name? Roboris, right? Or something. Um... That shot must have been before any. The most striking aspect. And that's it. Was Henri studying that picture, or did he look worried? There was definitely more to. The sure, bro. A good view of La Maledixio. I could kind of see why Father Simeon thought it was evil. There was a certain presence about it. The most striking aspect. And that's it, huh? Okay. The killer caught in the act. There was nothing really distinctive about him. The CCTV had caught the killer in the act of lifting La Maledixio from the wall. He knew exactly which painting to take. Mmm, sure. The most striking ass. The moment it all went horribly wrong. Why hadn't Henri backed down when the thief pulled the gun? If that was me, I'd have done whatever the guy wanted. The killer making his getaway. Waterloo Motors? A logo on the front of his helmet read Waterloo Motors. That could be useful. Yeah. The painting was gone. There I was, taking a look at the alarm box. Hopefully I didn't look too suspicious. 
I hadn't thought about that when I was taking a look at the camera. That was the last shot. I probably learned everything I could from the CCTV. I looked at the camera first, though, and then at the- oh, whatever, though. Nice little detail, I suppose. I didn't imagine Henri as a musician. Henri may have been a hippie, but a hippie with plenty of disposable income. Right, so the key is not here then, right? The frame containing pressed flowers. Henri may have been a hippie, but a hippie with plenty of disposable income. Sure. Well, if the game clearly tells us it's not in his office... The so sofa had clearly taken some punishment over the years. It looked like Henri had saved the best booze for the back room. Right. In the trash can, I found a crumpled letter from Henri's credit card company, demanding immediate payment. It listed extravagant purchases from a variety of ladies' fashion stores. The address indicated that Henri lived in the chic and expensive 16th arrondissement of Paris. I decided to put the letter back. Henri's financial problems weren't my business, but now I knew where he lived. True. I didn't like the idea of a pocket full of sharp pins. Mm, means we need to put it somewhere. I didn't need a business card. All right. Carrying an ink pot around inside my pocket would have been stupid. The ink would have stained my hands for days. Hmm. The switch controlled the small desk lamp. There was nothing special. I didn't feel the need to take Henri's eraser. I didn't want to carry the tape around. I had a feeling I wasn't going to need it. Okay, sure, mate. It was the paper that Nico wrote for. Nico lived for the day her story would be on the front cover. Mm. There was nothing this else in the door. The what? The folder looked interesting. This was very definitely tampering with evidence. It was a completion of work notice from a company called Vera Security. They weren't the guys we'd recommended. Henri had gone behind our backs to choose a different security outfit. Huh. I'd never heard of Vera Security, but there was an address and phone number on the form. Monsieur, sir, you have snuck in here, and now you are tampering with my evidence. Lies truth. I wasn't tampering with anything. I was just looking for clues. That is my job, Monsieur... Monsieur... Stobart. George Stobart. Paris Mutual. We insured the exhibition. Oh, really? So, you have plenty to gain from the robbery. What? Well, uh, no. We have plenty, plenty to, to lose, lose yeah. from the robbery. Don't patronize me, Monsieur. Only a fool wouldn't know how insurance works. Yeah, no flies on you, Inspector. Exactly. I have to get up very early in the morning, which means I can be sure to catch the worm. So I see. May I remind you, Monsieur, that a serious crime has been committed. I am going to have to ask you to return to the gallery. Of course, but I do need to ask you a few questions. D'accord. But remember, anything you say can be used against you, Monsieur Stobart. Okay, I'll bear that in mind. Wait, what about the, the dick thing? Or is this some- or do we get the key at his apartment or something? But why would you keep a key at your apartment to something that's at your fucking workplace? Uh... CCTV... Uh... Here, smell this. If you think you can bribe me with expensive parfum de toilette, monsieur, you are mistaken. Huh? Uh... Do you know anything about a company called Vera Security? No, I have never heard of them. 
Now, I must get on with my investigation. Mm, it's very likely that the security camera holds a clue to the killer's identity. Monsieur, I am a professional, and you are an amateur. So, leave the investigating to me, huh, pal? Monsieur, you are American, no? Yeah, California born and bred. Of course. I think perhaps you are wanting to be like that Starsky and Butch, monsieur. No? Rolling around on top of fast cars with beautiful ladies, firing your gun. Interesting idea, Inspector, but not really my style. Indeed. Well, let me tell you something, monsieur. You are my prime suspect. You may go now, but I will need to speak with you again. I had some valuable leads, but before following up on them, I had important business to attend to. Hey, Nico, you want to grab a quick cup of coffee? Sure. I am pleased to announce that I have finished my preliminary investigation. This is now an official crime scene, and you must all go. I shall be questioning all of you again in the coming days. Nobody is to leave the country, particularly you, Monsieur Stobart. Monsieur Lane will stay behind to help secure the premises. Mo? Yes, Inspector. Let them out. Right away, sir. Two coffees, please. Nice work in there, Nico. Whatever you did, it worked. I just made a tiny distraction, and Nave bought it. I think Nave would buy anything if it had blood on it. You know, this whole setup, the theft, the murder, it just doesn't make sense. What do you mean? Mm. Like this thing, for example? The security firm that Henri used was not the one I recommended. Well, that's understandable. I've been to restaurants that you recommended. <laughs> I've got their address. Maybe they can tell me who could have had access to that alarm. Like I said, I think it was an inside job. Go on. Someone disabled the alarm, but on just one painting. Let me guess. La Maledicio. Exactly. And I aim to find out who did it. The CCTV picked up an image of the thief. His helmet had the words Waterloo Motors written across it. Interesting. I think I got a couple of good shots of him, too. But I need to take a better look at them at home. Great. Let me know what you find. But would you really, like, if you were, like, a professional, would you really make a stupid mistake like this, unless it's a false lead? Well, the priest thinks La Maledicio is evil. Charles, she's just crazy. Yeah, you're probably right. But there's something strange going on. Good luck with your investigations. Well, I guess I should go. This story won't write itself. And Josh? Yeah? It's good to see you again. Great to see you too, Nico. I watched her walk away. The sound of traffic, the sun shining, a crime to solve, and Nico back in my life. Wait, what was their situation? I kind of... Are these two dating? I don't remember this part, honestly. Uh, uh probably not. Uh... The cure... Ah, so we have a few areas to visit. I want to go with the apartment first. As I approached Henri's apartment, I started to doubt 
whether coming here so soon after his death was such a great idea. That is indeed a, a bad idea, probably. <laughs> probably a really shitty idea, right? Alright, back to game. Can I access the map? I can. Shall we start with a security company then? Tony's Brasserie. Hmm, looked expensive. Parisian spring fashion. Reminds me why I love this city. I recognize the name Sasha from the charges listed in Henri's credit card letter. Ah. Paris sure had a lot of similar looking cafes. Unsurprisingly, the front door was locked. Yes, who is it? Excuse me, madame, this is George Stobart. Could I talk to you? George, what? George Stobart, madame, I'm from the insurance company. No, no, I, I'm not selling, madame. It's about the gallery theft. Oh, I see. You people move fast, don't you? This isn't a good time. I am so distraught. Madame, I... Right. Now, that hadn't achieved much. Hmm. Okay, I guess we gotta go elsewhere. Unsurprising. Yeah. All right, let's go. The address led me to a dead end alley at the end of a deadbeat mall. No wonder I'd never heard of Vera Security. But there it is, by the way. And there's a dude. Neon sign. The aircon went nicely with the Art Deco detailing. Yeah. Vera Security. I was going to get some answers there. I hoped. Please don't touch the sign. You'll just make it worse. Sorry, mate. Hi. I wonder if you can help me. I'm looking for Vera Security. Yes, of course. It's the shop behind you. Thank you. Uh, the name's George, by the way. Call me Bassam. And do please forgive me, but I'm in no mood to talk. I have a resounding headache. Huh. Bad migraine, eh? The worst. The buzzing and flashing from the old sign is killing me. I thought the neon sign had potential until it broke. Is it your sign? No, the previous owners used to be a restaurant. But this is horrible. Adversely affecting my footfall and giving me a splitting headache. Mm. You want me to try fixing that sign for you? Do you know what you're doing? I'm very good at fixing things. Yeah, he's gonna cut a then wire. please do. I'm no good at electricals. Marketing analysis and predicting trends is more my thing. <laughs> yeah. Damn, we got a fucking market analyst here. No. Do you do you sell anything? A Bassam, sure. Hello there, Bassam. I took a good look at the sign. The wiring was exposed and the cover broken. No wonder it was flashing. What the hell is this? I pulled the wire off. Well, that was one way to stop the letters flashing. Now only half the sign was illuminated. Uh, is this gonna help? Does this count as helping? Bruh? But that was a dude. The buzzing and flashing has stopped. And I am very grateful. But the sign still looks pretty terrible, doesn't it? When you're building a brand from the ground up, name is everything. 
I need a name that makes my customers long for adventure and treasures from faraway places. You know what? Let me Google this. Edinde. What is this a French for anything? Like Edinde. There's an Edward Dinde. Uh, Italian. There's a word like that in Italian. Which means... Oh, it's a toponym. Alright, um... Oh. I could take a look at your sign, come up with something. You're like a genie from a magic lamp. Tell me about your business idea. This stall is going to put me through college, while giving me field experience. But the nonsense sign is working against me. It should spell a name for my shop. I need something original, yet familiar, bright and in your face, yet subtle and symbolic. Uh... The fuck? Wait, can I move the ladders? I don't think I can move the ladders, right? Your objective is to rearrange the ladders to form a new wet that is appropriate for Bassam's predicament. Letters that form the new word need to be lit, so it must be, uh, uh, placed in the seven sockets on the right side of the sign. Interact with the letter- Ah! See, All right. letters could be moved around. Shame it didn't have the right letters to spell Basam. I'd have to think of something else. Basam. Hmm. I have to come up with the name? Uh... Uh-huh. I mean, seriously? Which language do you want? Valid. Nedide. Nedide. Alright, before we finish, or at least try to solve that one, uh, can we check what's going on with this thing? Help! What's wrong? There's a monster! A here. bug! On the floor! Get rid of it! Oh, the cockroach! Yes! The cockroach! Help! Come here, little fella. Oh god, I'm gonna have nightmares about this shit. I was never gonna ca- There were crumbs on the floor. No wonder the cockroach was sticking around. Right, and... That would have violated the Chemical Weapons Convention. <laughs> of course, bruh. I don't think this is gonna help, though. That would be point. Yeah. Alright, let's think about our cockroach situation a little later. Don't you have, like, a hint for me? Like, anything, bruh. At least the sign's not buzzing anymore. I know. Yeah. And as it. If only it's... That uh -huh. would send my business so... Oh, new word. Do you know anything about Vera's security over there? Not really. I haven't been here long, but neither have they by the looks of it. Why do you say that? Rush setup, new sign, low investment, and no customers except for you. Uh -huh. Could you help me with a vermin problem, please? I'm sorry, until I kickstart this business, I don't really have time for ancillary projects. I need a brand. A clear message that grabs my key demographic by the lapels and hurls them into my economic bailiwick. Excuse me? You know, a name that sounds magical and exotic, that appeals to a yearning they only feel subconsciously. A yearning they feel subconsciously? A yearning that you feel subconsciously? Ah. A yearning that you feel subconsciously. 
urge? Nah, that's not subconscious. What the fuck? What? A yearning that you feel subconscious. Latent? I don't know the word for now, to be honest. Need. <laughs> we don't have... Yeah, we don't have it. Need. Sad. <laughs> Sad dead. Sad dead is, like, awesome. Um, I need, uh... Wait, are you telling me that, like, these are, like, separate words, or is this just... ...have to be separate words? Need... stuck right now. I need to think. Mm. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know. Cells like more like a duck car kind of thing. Mm. At least the sign. I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I if only it's. That would a whole new world. Whole new world. Could you help me with? A I'm sorry. I'm a clear message that grabs my key demographic. Excuse me. You know, a name that sounds magical and exotic. Magical and exotic. Magical and exotic. A new world. Let fucking yearning. What? Magical and exotic. Yeah, well, uh huh. I kind of feel like we're going to be... This is where we're going to stuff to this. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of word? Okay, it's a seven-letter word. Right? A single word. Is it English? Is it French? If it's French, we are done here. Because I have no idea. But it's probably not, right? Let's try something like... Uh... No? Okay, let's try... Uh... 
Fucking hell, I've come up with so many crazy ideas and shit, and I can't figure out a single fucking word? You gotta be kidding me, right? Um... This odd. That's like whatever, no? Mm, magical. Yeah, well, I am a little stuck, but only a little. I'm sure we can break through. Um, mind, there's no M. There is no... That wouldn't work. Uh huh. Dusty. Seven letter word, magical, a different world, whatever. There has to be like only one word, right, that counts as a solution. Only one combination of letters. Ah. <sighs> Oh, we have unlocked quite a few characters. Hmm. Yeah, I, I... I don't know. I do not know. Ugh. Alright, let's try and think, like, in terms of, this is a, what, a 90s? When was this released? The guy is, uh, I don't know, that's, that looks to me like a cognitive shortcut. But then again, magical, mysterious... But why would this word... Wait, can we make that word? A... I have only one L, right? That word has two L's. No, it's not gonna work. Wait, or is it double D? Aladdin, I mean. But that's like... Why would it be... I mean, sure. Let's try it. I'll, uh, it's a seven letter word, right? A O A D D I N. Yeah. La D
Aha. That seemed like a good name. Hey, Bissam. How about this? I know it's not your name, but... Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USBs. Glad you like it. You're a genius, George. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Um, sure, the cockroach. Ah, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? The cockroach. Do you happen to know a good way to catch a cockroach? To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it? And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. You need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. Rich tea. Oh, what's that, a cookie? The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, and yet curiously Moorish. I'll give it a try. Okay. Bleh. Thanks, mate. Thank you for the cookie. You're very welcome. Now that's been very informative. So what are you selling? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I sell all those things you can't get anywhere else in Paris. Like? English biscuits, Turkish delight, French cassettes, Brazilian Betamax videos. <laughs> okay. Hysterical woman. The fuck? There is a a, red, a dead red right there in the corner. Goodness. I was sure a bit of food would entice the little, but he just wouldn't eat. Hey, are you shitting me? Not a snowball. One of those rich. Um. There was a huge. Yeah, well, a table, a radio. Leave that radio alone and sort this damn cockroach. Look, I'm a fucking client, lady. You do that. Hello, I'm. Cockroach! Just putting the biscuit down amongst the crumbs, I needed a proper. But like, we don't have it, right? We don't have the trap. The place looked very much like. Hmm. Do you have anything else for me? Aha! Uh -huh. I decided to keep the. If Bassam knew how flimsy the sign was. What do you think? I'm over the moon, George. Hmm? Thanks to you, I can now sell my retro cavalcade of musical cards, brushes, souvenirs. And you know what they say happy sellers make happy shoppers. Hmm... Aha! Uh -huh. How do I tr To be honest, George, I'm better- Yeah, yeah, sure, but... Hmm... It kind of feels like going we... to leave without invest- Okay, sure, which means it's here- Wait, what the about- The empty shop? The place looked like it had been out of- Ah, uh, well. Um, I, I don't know. One of those... Yeah, but, like... 
it did. I'm not surprised it didn't work. That? Yeah, like, just, I just... putting the biscuit down. I'm... I need it. Yeah, but, like, I don't have the thing. Oh. Romanovs. A Russian brand cigarette. The pack was empty. Oh, it's the Russians, aren't they? As a child, I'd always been told not to play with matches. But I never could resist. Oh, I get it. I get it how we, uh... The ashtray was full of cigarette butts. The filters were gold-colored. Very exotic. Right, so my guess is... Do this. Open a door. I'd made a great home for a little critter. Oh, we still have the half of a cookie, but like I have no idea where I'm gonna use it though. But sure. I set down my clever trap. Now all I had to do was wait. Well, I'm waiting. Gotcha. You are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. I bet you are. Can I help you? Yes, please. Do you know if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, Cherie. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... The gloves. I just thought... Ah, easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Oh, but I huh? have been reconstructed. A number of times. From the ground up. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, actually, what the fuck is this rat? What do you mean? It's called a stretch goal. It doesn't look to me like a good stretch goal. Look, do you mind not touching the office equipment? Annette's peripheral vision was, quite simply, astounding. Okay, then, uh... You know what? That's gonna be it for today. Um... Yeah. And we might continue one of those days when I, uh... Feel more like it. Anyway, uh, if there is anyone still watching, thank you. And until the next time...